Hello, I'm Mike Sokol and welcome to the No Shock Zone. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ampro PK110 test kit. We're going to be using it to check voltage on a campground pedestal before plugging in our RV shore power. We are going to use the Amprobe AM420 to test for proper voltage on a campsite pedestal before plugging in our RV. Note that the circuit breakers are turned off when we come up to the breaker panel and that's correct because we do not want to be plugging into an already hot receptacle with our shore power connection because that can cause arcing and pitting of the connections. Let's go ahead and power this up right now. The first thing we're going to check is the 20 amp service right in the middle of here. This on the left side is going to be the hot connection, this is the neutral, and this is the ground. So the first thing we're going to do is put our meter probes between the hot and the ground. It does not matter which is black and which is red because this is alternating current. It's a little bit hard to get them into these child tamper-proof connections sometimes. There we go. So we're ending up at around 124 volts or so, and that's correct between the hot and the neutral. Now I'm going to check between the hot and the ground, and we're still sitting around 120 volts, volts or so, and that's correct. Now between ground and neutral, we should be reading very, very close to zero volts. It does not have to be exactly zero volts, but it should not be more than one or two volts difference. Something like five or 10 volts means that something terrible has happened and you do not want to continue. Now let's check the 50 amp service. You'll see that there's a neutral line on the bottom, two different hot legs, and a ground pin at the top. So first we're gonna check between the two hots and you'll see we're going to be right around 248 volts or so, 249 volts. And that's perfectly fine. That's exactly what we're looking for. When we check between the neutral and the hot, we should have half of that. So we're seeing right around 124 volts. That's perfect. Between the other hot leg, and the neutral, we're seeing, again, about 124, 125 volts. It could be as low as 110 in your campground and still be just fine. And when we check between neutral and ground, we should have very close to zero volts, and we do. Again, one or two volts would be okay, but no more than that. If you do measure zero volts between the two hot legs, that means the campground has miswired the outlet with something we call a bootleg 240 volt receptacle where there's only one wire that's connected to both of these. You do not want to use that because that can allow your neutral wire to actually burn up and catch on fire. So if, if you read zero volts across here, do not proceed. The outlet is miswired. Finally, we're going to check the 30 amp outlet. Now this is wired exactly the same way as the 20 amper and even though this looks like this should be 240 volt, it is in fact only a 125 volt receptacle. So this leg over here will be the hot, this is the neutral, and this is the ground. So when I measure between the two connections on either side between the neutral and the hot, I'm measuring right around 120 to 125 volts. When I go between the hot and the ground, I should still measure the same 120 to 124 volts. And between the neutral and the ground, I'm expecting to see very close to zero volts. Again, one or two volts is sufficient, but no more than that. Next, we're going to test for proper ground and hot skin conditions using an Amprobe VP1000SB. Now this is an always on tester, non-contact voltage tester, but we always want to make sure we check it first on a known good power source just to confirm that the batteries are still good in this and it's operational. So we're going to first put it over to the hot connection and you note that it's beeping and vibrating and that's all correct. We are now going to move it over to the neutral and it's not beeping which again is correct and we're going to check the ground connection 
and it's not beeping. Now I'll note if you're testing on a GFCI, if you get towards the center of this and you're checking the ground, it will appear to be hot. It's not really hot, it's just that there's so much wiring inside of here that it's fooling the tester. So it's always best to check on the ground receptacle that's as far away from the center as possible. Next, let's test the 240 volt 50 amp receptacle for proper grounding. We're going to go ahead and use the hotline to confirm that our non-contact voltage tester is working. We'll then check the other side and it's working. That all seems correct. When we plunge it into the neutral connection at the bottom, we get no indication and that's correct. And when we test the ground slot at the top, we have no indication and that's correct as well. Finally, let's check the 30 amp receptacle for proper grounding. Again, the lower left one should be hot, and we see it's beeping at us, and that's correct. The lower right one will be neutral, which should not be beeping, and this one is wired correct. And the ground itself should show no voltage on it, and that's correct. If you have any sort of reversal between here, the left and the rights, where this is not hot and this is hot, it means they have reversed the polarity on the receptacle. The same for here. This it would be hard to tell, but again, you want to just double check every campsite pedestal before you plug in for the first time. Finally, we're going to use the Amprobe ST102B outlet tester to confirm that the receptacle is actually wired correctly. First, we plug it into the 20 amper service and you'll see that we have two orange lights and no red light. That's exactly the pattern that we're looking for. Any other pattern tells us that we have either a, a broken neutral, an open ground, reverse polarity, and not to proceed. You'll note also on the side there's a button which will allow us to check the GFCI breaker itself for proper operation. And so when we push that button, this should trip. When it does trip, the lights go out, and then we can simply push the reset button, the lights come back in. You can also use this to double check within your camper itself to make sure all of your outlets inside are properly wired and haven't broken any connections or had any reverse polarity. So my review of the Ampro PK110 kit is this is a very affordable and useful tool for checking RV campsite pedestals for proper voltage before plugging in. It includes a digital multimeter, a non-contact voltage tester, and a three light cube tester. Available for less than $35 retail and sometimes as low as $31 on Amazon, this is an excellent kit to keep in your RV for checking for proper voltage before plugging in your RV. Thank you for watching the No Shock Zone. I'm Mike Sokol.